time because at Wrestlemania Metal Wrestling could be put out of business. This is the final episode of Metal before Wrestlemania where Stone Cold's team will go into battle against NLW. If Austin wins then Austin will take control of both Metal and NLW and ahead of that huge match Austin holds a team meeting. After all his company could be going under after Wrestlemania plus Conor McGregor and CM Punk face to face for the official weigh in live tonight on Metal Wrestling. We have also got a brand new Firefly Funhouse which is confusing because I thought The Undertaker set him ablaze. And also our opening contest, if Cody needs Roman, he's going to Wrestlemania. Let's get this match on the way. New opening contest is scheduled for one fall. If Cody Rose wins this match, he will be added to the middle weight title match at Wrestlemania. Making his way to the ring first being accompanied by Grandy Rose. Fighting out of Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 225 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes wanted this matchup. Samoa Joe wanted Roman Reigns. However, Cody Rhodes has the opportunity here tonight to qualify for the Metal Weight title match at WrestleMania, stemming from this, episode one of Metal Wrestling, where Roman Reigns returned, gunning after the man who took him out, Cody Rhodes. And now we have come to this. Cody can qualify for that match at WrestleMania, which already features Samoa Joe, Roman Reigns, and Walter competing for the Metal Weight title, but tonight has the chance to make it a fatal four-way. Of course, Cody Rhodes, he was snubbed by Stone Cold, and the NLW versus Metal matchup. However, tonight has the opportunity to redeem himself against the Tribal Chief. Let's get ready to rumble. And his opponent being accompanied by the Usos fighting out of Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 264 pounds, the Tribal Chief. Roman Reigns! And this is Roman Reigns' first matchup since his return. His first in-ring contest. And if he loses, well, his chances of becoming metalweight champion against Samoa Joe and Walter WrestleMania become a whole lot less because Cody, with a win, will qualify for that matchup. But it's more about the personal animosity between these two. After all, Cody Rose, the one who took out Roman Reigns and Cody with a tope suicida. And of course, last week, Cody Rhodes, he thought he was going to be the final member of Team Metal. However, Hangman Page was chosen instead. But Cody, my God, a Cody cutter. But a kick up from Roman. Cody Rhodes here tonight not only wants a measure of revenge against Roman, not only wants to get into that metalweight title match, but also wants to prove Stone Cold wrong for his decision. And oh my goodness, crossroads come in, but Roman gets out of it, a clothesline. And you hear the crowd response for Cody Rhodes, it is split. Some people believe that he was robbed. Some people believe that Hangman was the mole, but a lot of people feel like Cody Rhodes might be trying to hide something. 
I'm not going to comment on that. All I know is he is a very driven individual and he's very polarising, but so is the Tribal Chief. Roman Reigns, of course, last week. Oh, hang on a second. Oh, good God! Jesus Christ, what a crucifix bomb! Onto the apron and Cody Rhodes may be out. That is going to mess up your spine big time. Look at this again. Crucifix bomb onto the apron and Cody crumples. The American Nightmare in trouble. His wife, Randy, looking on, concerned for her husband's safety as he gets suplexed on the ramp. And let's not forget the Usos, the bloodline, alongside Roman Reigns at ringside. And now Roman battering Cody Rhodes in the centre of the ring. Roman Reigns wants to be acknowledged, and he may very well be acknowledged here. Superman punch for Cody. Backslide in for the cover, but a kick up from Roman. Back on their feet, misses the clothesline, and Cody with a disaster kick. Cody Rhodes kicking the skull off the head of the table. And waiting for Roman and a neck breaker. Now it's time for Cody to dig into that fire. A power slam. Rhodes is on fire. The American Nightmare with a last chance effort to get to WrestleMania. Going for the crossroads, but Roman Reigns is in the ropes. And the referee stops him. Oh, and a Superman punch to Cody. Cody rocked with that punch. And now it's time for the spear. Cody in trouble, but Roman gets the post instead. And now Cody, crossroads, crossroads. Oh, the kick out of the last minute. Randy can't believe this. Crowd can't believe it. And Cody can't believe it. Look at this. He's arguing with the referee. And I don't think that the fans appreciate this. Look at this. I mean, he may be frustrated, but you can't put your hands on an official. Oh, and a spear. Spear from Roman Reigns. Roman cutting out Cody Rhodes. And now the guillotine choke. I think Cody's out. He is, and it's over. Enjoy Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns kills Cody Rose's dream of winning the Metaway title at WrestleMania. And that has to sting. You can think whatever you want about the guy, but it's still heartbreaking to see a man pour his heart and soul and then come up short like this. But that's the name of the game. Cody Rhodes made a mistake arguing with the official and that momentary distraction cost him speared and then choked out by the tribal chief the bloodline stands tall as Cody Rhodes is consoled by his wife heartbroken that he cannot be competing at Wrestlemania he is he is shaken by this and oh, now we know it's going to be a triple threat of Mania. And there's the other challenger, NLW's Walter. And Walter, face to face with the head of the table. Walter wants to finish what he started last week. But wait a minute, Samoa Joe, from behind is the champion. Samoa Joe getting a measure of revenge. And the Usos trying to get involved, but chopped their souls out of them. And Walter's out. Walter's been choked out by Joe. Oh, but the shot with the title. Roman Reigns with a cheap shot. And he looks at the prize. He could well win at WrestleMania. That metalweight championship. Roman Reigns holds it high. And is this the sight we're going to see at WrestleMania? Roman, Joe and Walter for the championship. I can't wait and I can't wait to see MGF versus John Cena on NLW this week. And speaking of which, you think that MGF sunk low? Cena was doing an autograph signing earlier today for a bunch of kids.
just check this out. There you go, kid. Wow, this is so cool. Thank you so much. I'm a huge fan. No problem. Hey, John, boy. Mr. Fruity Pebbles, how are you, man? Pandering to the kids? Bet you think you're some kind of hero, huh? What's your name, kid? Can I see that? Whoops. Sorry, kid. Bad luck. Whoa, hey, John. Cool off. Hey, I'll see you next week, buddy. All right. Remember, because I'm better than you, and you know it. Yeah, I'll see you. I'll kick your ass too, pal. Are uh, you all right, kid? Oh, I was going to sell it out of eBay. <laughs> I mean, MGF making kids cry, bro. It's not fair. And John Cena, hopefully, kicking MGF's ass on NLW this week. But right now, folks, we've turned our attention to the weigh-in between Punk and McGregor. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here live for the official weigh-in for Conor McGregor versus CM Punk at WrestleMania. Conor, you are first up on the scales. Please step on, and we'll weigh you. I'll be interested to see how much Connor weighs. Obviously, primarily competes at featherweight. And of course, no disqualifications at WrestleMania, so weight class isn't as much of an issue, but let's see what he weighs in at. 160 pounds for Connor McGregor. Weighing in at 160 pounds for this match. He's put in a bit of muscle in preparation for his wrestling debut. Let's see what Punk weighs. CM Punk, it is now your turn to climb the scales. Well, CM Punk is a wrestler, a lot more muscular. What's he weighing in as? CM Punk at 210 pounds. CM Punk, 210 pounds for this no disqualification match. So a 50 pound weight advantage for CM Punk. Gentlemen, please be respectful. Well, Punk and McGregor, I don't think respectful's in their vocabulary. Face to face in the ring right now, and this is tense. Oh, and a cheap shot. A cheap shot from Conor McGregor. Conor, sucker punch in CM Punk. And now standing on the scales. Well, he may be at a 50 pound weight disadvantage, but that lethal right hand may be the ticket for a victory for Connor at WrestleMania. It is funny, and I like it. When I was a piglet, and I remember going upstairs into my bar. Santa Claus is here! I'm, a, I'm more famous than wrestling. Give me a lot of money. Whoa! You're only smoking mirrors! I thought Santa Claus was more, oh fuck, it's a car. Running over Santa Claus was probably the worst thing that Alberto Del Rio has ever done. They all have lovely bottoms. Subscribe to Pigs and Fug Wrestling for more of this wrestling nonsense. Two wrestling dynasties. There is only room for one wrestling company in this world. A collision unlike any other. The wrestling landscape will never be the same again. Winner take all. No limits wrestling. I want you and your company to be dead and buried. Metal wrestling. Metal is gonna kick your ass and that's the bottom line cause Stone Cold said so. WrestleMania live on YouTube. Folks, up next, we're ready for a tag team match. It's proud and powerful Santana and Ortiz taking on the heavy metal tag team champions, War Machine. And wait a minute, what the hell? It's, it's the Lucha Brothers. It's the NLW tag team champions, and there's the new X Division champion pack. And stomping out, proud and powerful. And pack with a black arrow on Ortiz. What the hell are they doing here? We saw they were pumped out by War Machine on NLW this week. And perhaps they're here to get a measure of revenge. War Machine, you wanted the Death Triangle. Now you've got the Death Triangle. So how about this? We have ourselves a little match at WrestleMania. Our titles versus your titles. Winner take all. And why not bring that little runt Darby with you too? Well, that is a call out and a half. Pack calling out War Machine and Darby. Well, I don't think Darby is medically cleared at all after their assault last week. 
But these two are medically cleared and they're ready to kick some ass. They may not be getting a match tonight, but they're certainly going to get a fight. It's the heavy metal tag team champions, Hanson and Rowe, War Machine. And now going to come to blows with the Lucha Bros. Both sets of tag team champions fighting out here. And the numbers advantage for the Death Triangle too much. A low blow from Phoenix. And now Penta, Phoenix and Pack pummeling War Machine. It's a three on two assault. Wire. That barbed wire skateboard used to great effect. The hardcore champion showing why he is the champion. Oh my god! Stomping in the spine of Phoenix with that barbed wire skateboard. And it looks as if another huge match has been added. The winning team will take all of the championships. Six man war at WrestleMania. I can't wait. Hey, ha ha, Keith, 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 come on. If you ever threaten me or my family again, I will kill you, Seth. I don't care who you set out to get me, I will kill you. I am warning you one last time. Do not ever threaten my family again. You understand me? Oh, hey, uh, it's fine. We'll, we'll do it at WrestleMania. It's fine. At WrestleMania, I will end you. Monty, Jonas, Shinsuke, the Hurt Business, money in the bank. I know it, I can feel it in my veins. This is the Hurt Business. One of you is gonna win money in the bank and we will dominate this industry. The Hurt Business is only just get started. Riho, I've gotta ask, is your arm 100% for your winner take all match against Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania? Hey Jushin Liger, are you pissed off? Hell yeah you're pissed off, cause you got an imposter walking around pretending to be you, pretending to be a big shot, well you're gonna put him in his place at Wrestlemania. And hey, there's someone who's pretending to be a big shot too, pretending to be the champion. Well guess what Roman, I'm the champion. And Walter, if you wanna get some, you can get some too, cause I'm gonna choke both of your asses out. Death Triangle. I don't care if you do whatever you want to me, you can beat me, I will keep getting up. And at WrestleMania, we are going to take all of your championships, because I don't think you're ready for what's coming. Damn, Conor McGregor loves his cheap shots, doesn't he? I guess I'm going to have to go to NLW and teach him a lesson. Jeff, it's almost time. You wanted me to unleash my inner demon. Be careful what you wish for. Get your hands on official NLW and Metal Wrestling merch, hoodies, t-shirts and more. Check it out. The link to the store is in the description. One epic encounter. I think it's time that the Antichrist gets taken down a peg by the Prince. That no one could have imagined. Finn Balor could take the NLW title to Metal. Has become reality. Jeff Hardy. The Prince is no match for the Ministry of Darkness. Finn Balor. I am the absolute best metal has, and I will become NLW Champion. NLW WrestleMania, live on YouTube. It's a hell of a card already. 
and we've just heard not only is it winner take all but it's also false car anywhere death triangle taking on war machine and darby allen heavy metal nlw tag titles on the line plus the hardcore and x division titles and we've also got lightning versus thunder jushin liger versus jushin liger will the imposter please stand up we will find out who is under that mask hopefully at wrestlemania plus a gauntlet match becky lynch on nlw has been trying to pick off the kabuki drive one by one but she'll get the chance in this gauntlet match plus money in the battle ladder match our team of the hurt business will be competing in it it's shinsuke jonah monty shingo aj will osprey jungle boy and ricochet who's getting the briefcase and the title opportunity we want to talk about championships too keith lee said i will kill you seth if you mess with my family and he'll have a chance to maim seth rollins when it's champion versus champion at wrestlemania plus it's winner take all in this matchup women's title versus knockouts title riho her arm is 100 percent when she goes one-on-one -on -one with the baddest woman on the planet Planet. And we've also got the metalweight title on the line. Walter, Samoa Joe and Roman Reigns. Big meaty men slapping meat. What more can you say about this clash of the titans? It's no disqualifications. Conor McGregor versus CM Punk. We heard earlier tonight CM Punk has a 50 pound weight advantage. But Conor McGregor has that lethal right hand that could prove to be disastrous. The loser of this matchup must leave NLW. Kenny Omega versus Shawn Michaels, who is leaving NLW forever. And also, it is hell in a cell. The Fiend was seemingly burned alive this past week, and The Undertaker burned down the Firefly Funhouse, but they will still be scheduled to go one-on-one -on -one inside hell in a cell. And for the NLW Championship, Jeff Hardy puts it on the line against Metal Wrestling's Finn Balor. And we heard what Finn Balor had to say earlier tonight, unleashing his demonic side for this matchup. And in the main event, 5v5 elimination match, Team Metal versus Team NLW. If NLW wins, Metal is out of business. But if Metal wins, Stone Cold takes control of NLW and Metal Wrestling. And right now, we've got the team together in the ring. For a team meeting, there's been a lot of controversy, particularly surrounding Hangman Page, that man right there, as to whether or not he's the mole. And I guess we're about to find out because Stone Cold Steve Austin is here to take care of business and get to the bottom of this whole situation. After all, we need our team on the same page at WrestleMania. And you know that Stone Cold Steve Austin wants decorum. And obviously with this team, you may not get it. It's a volatile team, but it's the best we have. Let's listen in. All right. It seems like we got some business to take care of here. There is a mole on metal working for NLW behind closed doors, Triple H says. Now normally, I wouldn't believe any of the crap that comes out of his mouth. But after Brian Danielson pulled one over on Old Stone Cold, now I don't know what the hell to believe. I need assurances from all of you that you're team metal to the end. John, help me out here. Yeah, well, um, Steve, I don't know what to say, so I'll just say this. This company has given the world to me, and I will fight until my last breath for this company. And if there's anyone in that locker room or in this ring that isn't behind metal wrestling, we don't want you here. We're a family, and we stick together in times like this. Look, John, I don't care about unity anymore. All right, I'm past it. What I want is the opportunity to kick Triple H's head in. Now, I'm gonna get that chance in NLW this week when I face him one on one, but it's gotta feel even more satisfying to do it at WrestleMania. But with that said, I can't help but feel that all this talk about unity is rich coming from you. You were the NLW champion. You were the most evil bastard there ever was. And now you're talking about unity. How do we know you're not just trying to throw us off the scent that you're the mole? Yeah, I have something to say about that. You know, I'm ready to step into WrestleMania to drink some blood and grind some bones. And I got a taste of violence in that exploding barbed wire match. And I think it's changed my mental state a little bit because I'm craving some skull stomping. And Cena, the sentimental crap ain't gonna win us this war. Violence is, and that's what metal wrestling's all about. 
You gotta focus on Adam Cole. That man broke your neck. What about Brian Austin? He double-crossed you. He double-crossed all of us. Drew, Triple H, and Kevin Owens try killing you with that sledgehammer. Are you gonna take that? Uh, well, it's for MJF. He's just a prick. But in all seriousness, I feel like the mole is obvious. He's been under our noses this entire time. And the right hand man. The hand man page once again being pulled out. Now Drew was sitting up in the hospital and I was with him getting stitched up during lethal lockdown. And if I recall, weren't you the guy Austin said was Metal's backup? So where were you when Brian Danielson cost Metal the match, huh? And last week, the same sledgehammer used to pummel Drew was right by you in the bar, and, you know, I can't help but think it's more than a coincidence. So I'll give you one minute to explain yourself before I drop you on your ass. Oh, things really getting intense in this ring right now. Well, you want to know where I was? I went home. Okay, I got up and I left. I didn't even see what had happened to you guys until the day after. And you know what? I probably wouldn't have even come down to help, even if I was there. Yeah, I'll be honest. Since I came to the medal, I've done nothing of value. I took orders from everyone. I tried to take shortcuts, and eventually, I just gave up. Hell, I wanted to be fired and leave wrestling altogether. The last week, everything changed. As I was sitting at home, I looked my son in the eyes. And I felt like I'd let him down. You know, I've been given this opportunity to show my craft in front of the world and what do I do? I wasted. I wasted every opportunity. I saw what I'd become and I hated it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not mentally there yet. I've got a lot of growing to do and realistically, hell, I may not be the best choice for this team. But by God, I am gonna pour my heart and soul and give everything I have for this match. For my family! For this family, Stone Cold, no offense, but I really don't need you to believe in me because oh, I believe in myself, God damn it! This company has given me the platform to provide for my family, and whether you're with me or against me, I am giving every ounce of cowboy shit I have at WrestleMania for metal wrestling. Because let's face it, if I want to change things about myself, I have no other choice but to fight with everything I have. And I'm done taking shortcuts. I am not double-crossing you guys. Hold on. Hangman? I believe you. Well, that's all well and good for you, Cena. But touching, Hangman, very touching. Let me remind you that Brian Danielson said the exact same thing when he lied to the world in this very ring. Face it, you haven't lived up to expectations before. Maybe you'd benefit from Triple H offering you a job. So why should we trust you? You know what, Drew, honestly? None of you should trust me because I'm a no-good son of a bitch. Hell, I'm drinking all day just to numb the shame that I felt for years wasted here. I'm not scared of you guys thinking I'm the mole. I'm scared of letting you all down. It makes me depressed that I could potentially put hundreds of people out of work. Do you think that I don't feel that on my shoulders? Yeah, you're right. I haven't lived up to what's expected of me. The pressure is unbearable. But sometimes you got to grit your teeth and get it out because everyone is counting on us. And like I said, I've got no other choice. This is my life and I am fighting for this company because hell, what kind of a man would I be if I gave up now? You're right, hang man. You'd be a coward if you let everyone down now. So why the hell did I find this on my desk? It's addressed to you. A fresh NLW contract from the office of Triple H. And I say it. I've given you the benefit of the doubt enough times, and I don't think you'd do it if you weren't desperate. So maybe you're gonna go to NLW when this is all over hell. Maybe you're the mole right now. Whatever it is, tell me right now. Be honest, and I won't kick your ass. Steve, I have no idea about that. Are you serious? Oh my god! My tension's extremely high. 
Uh, yeah, you know what? Screw this. And screw you. Screw what I said about this place. Clearly, uh, if you don't believe in me, then you're on your own. Because, hell, I don't believe in me anymore. Clearly. If this is what I've become, if this is what people think of me, screw it. I'm done. You're on your own. Oh, come on. Hangman, please. Hangman. Hangman. Come on. I, I have to sympathise. I know everyone's blaming everyone else. I think maybe they've made a mistake here. But guys, look, I'm sorry to interrupt the proceedings, but come on. It's obviously me. Hello? I've been blaming Hangman this whole time because I was trying to show you how unreliable he is, and I've proved right. Even as a mole, I try and help you, and somehow you fumble. Hangman talks a lot of crap, but I'll give him this. He's right when he says, you're on your own. Metal's been taken care of in the back, guys. And in about 30 seconds, NLW is going to enter the arena and destroy this whole building. I should have been the main star of Metal Wrestling. I should have been given a title opportunity. I should be on the team. Now you'll pay for that stupid decision because I'm going to NLW, where I'm getting an NLW title match. So it looks like I'll be at WrestleMania after all. All right, boys, get him. You piece of shit. You garbage human being, Cody. Oh, now NLW is here. 